Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India particular session we will talk about the team decision making and uh, conflict management uh, and uh, under this session we will discuss about the effective team decision making process, rational model, leader central decision making model, team centered decision making model, creative decision making process, uh, intuitive decision making, decision making errors and biases, uh, conflict management and uh, as usual the case study research paper and the book recommendations and also the references from this material is uh, referred and uh, also to go into the detail you will find in the references at the end. So, effective team decision making process is that is the we have talked about the team uh, making uh, processes right and uh, teams are the particularly effective in problem solving as they are comprised of the people with complementary skills. Now, now this is also very interesting that is when we are making the team we have to take into consideration the personalities also. So, suppose we are taking the example of uh, Meyer Briggs type indicator MBTI and in MBTI there are the personalities which are introvert, extrovert thinking, feeling, perceiving, judging, sensing and intuition is there. So, uh, if uh, we are taking the extrovert person right, so then we are taking the sensing, then thinking and judging. So, right. so, therefore, in that case this has become ESTJ. So, they, they are having the different uh, these uh, personality traits and when different personality traits are there, they will be complementary. So, this complementary strength of the one right uh, will support the weakness of the other. Uh, these complementary skills allow team members to examine issues from various angles as well as see the implications for their decisions from a variety of perspectives. Effective decision making process that can help teams solve problems and make the good decisions. Uh, team makes decisions using problem solving technique is there that is the crux right. So, it is the rest of the selection of a course of action following the evaluation of two or more alternatives. Right? So, therefore, in that case uh, whenever the teams are taking the decision they are going step by step and then the step by step process will uh, making the evaluation. And so, because there are more members, so therefore, there will be the number of options available will be there and uh, when these options are there, there will be the evaluation of these options. Whenever we are having these evaluating the options right, so we can take the best option is there. So, uh, it is very important that is the we are taking the collective, collective wisdom is there and on the basis of the collective wisdom, we are taking the decision uh, collectively and that is also step by step is there. Now, the, uh, this is a team decision making the process, uh, the rational model is there, there are different models are there, recognize the problem, identifying the problem. So, team must see and recognize that a problem exists and that a decision needs to be made to move forward is there and th therefore, in that case whatever the problem is there right, that problem needs to be made the uh, move forward is there right. So, naturally decisions are to be taken otherwise that problem will uh, hurdle the our uh, uh, the project our the work uh, or the goal which we want to achieve. So, uh, we, we first understand that yes there is a some problem is there right. Then they define the problem. In this stage teams must map out the issues at hand during this step teams uh, should uh, for example, state how when and where members became aware of the problem. Right. So, therefore, in that case uh, it, it is becoming that is um, whether they are having this uh, awareness of that problem or not. If they are not having the awareness of problem, explore different ways of viewing the problem. Different ways of viewing the problems can lead to an improved understanding of the core problem. Right. So, uh, what is important is this after the defining the problem you have to gather the information about that particular uh, uh, issues which are affecting the problem is there. Once the problem has been defined uh, teams need to gather information relevant to the problem. Why do teams need to perform this step? Two reasons to verify that the problems was defined correctly and two to develop the alternative solutions to the problem at hand. 
Near I would like to mention that is the many times we are not aware of the solutions which are available and therefore the secondary data, primary data that has to be collected. So, gather the information, uh, information you can uh, uh, from the experts, those who are from this particular uh, area or discipline, you can contact them and uh, then take their interviews and then you can find out or there can be the secondary data, secondary data will be about it is the books, magazines related to that particular problem or issues are there and develop the alternative solutions. So, so, while it can be easy for teams to jump on and accept the first solution, teams that are effective in problem solving take the time to explore several potential solutions to the problem. So, many times it is uh, any one particular solution will be appearing that is yes, this is the best solution, but do not jump on that rather than please evaluate the rest of the alternative solutions also. So, some ways to generate the alternatives include the brainstorming session. So, the all the relevant uh, experts on that particular topic they will be there, a nominal group techniques will be there. So, therefore, in that case uh, a committee can be formed and then on basis of that uh, the, that committee or that nom, uh, no, nominal group or, uh, will be responsible to find out the solution for that particular problem is there. Other Delphi technique will be there yes or no and then whatever will be the yes uh, the, uh, then accordingly we will follow and ultimately reach to the solution. So, you will be having after a different number of solutions and to select the best alternative is there. So, once all the alternatives are in the team needs to be determined, the alternative that best address the problem at hand for this element to be effective you need to consider both rational and human elements are there. So, they, uh, what will be the best alternative? For example, if we are talking about the retrenchment of manpower, so somebody may say that it is the overnight uh, we have to retrench the manpower, somebody will say no 3 months are to be taken to retrench the manpower is there. Now, uh, here which will be the best solution? For some of you it might be they immediately return the main power by giving them 3 months notice or period of money and uh, for some of the you that may be no, no no we have to give some money to them and then let us see whether it will be survived or not survived and then we will decide about whether we should go for a particular solution or not. Then after selecting the best solution implement the best solution right and when once the altern uh, alternatives has been chosen the team needs to implement its decision is there that is okay uh, after the identifying the problems uh, making the solutions uh, then, then deciding about the best solution and now the implementation of the solution is there. So, this requires effective planning as well as communicating the decision to all the stakeholders that may be impacted by this particular decision is there this is very very important. That is, if we are making this communication to the all the stakeholders to whom this decision is going to be affected and therefore, in that case we can get uh, their feedback, what is their opinion and then if there is a need for corrective action, we can do the corrective action also. Evaluate the outcome, remember that teams and team building is a learning process. It is critical that the team examine whether the proposed plans of action were achieved in an effective way and resulted in prospective outcome is there or not. So, therefore, in that case it, it is very you know, whatever decisions are taken right. So, whether they, they it is the uh, positive outcome or it is not a positive outcome in, in there right. So, uh, uh, if uh, we evaluate the outcome uh, then def, uh, then it will give a clear cut idea whether uh, the solution which have been opted whether that solution is the appropriate or it is not appropriate is there. So, by identifying the problem, establishing the, uh, the decision criteria, weighing them, generating the alternatives, selecting the evaluate the alternatives, choose the best alternative, choose the, um, the uh, whatever the best alternative has been uh, uh, selected, then you are making the implement of that and in implementation there might be certain problems. So, therefore, you evaluate the decision and then finally, if you find out that is the uh, after the this is a rational model logical model and very popular model is there. And then finally, if you find out that is yes uh, whatever has been selected that is the best one as per their guidance is concerned then definitely uh, you will be able to find out the, uh, the best solution to be implemented. Brainstorming. So, originally adopted by the Alex uh, Osborne in 1938 uh, in an American company according to him brainstorming means using the brain to storm the problem. So, therefore, uh, 4 basic guidelines are there. So, generate as many ideas as possible, uh, be creative, 
free willing and the imaginative is there, build upon the piggy bank extended or the combined earlier ideas and the withhold the criticism of others ideas are there. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, these uh, basically whenever uh, because this is different right. So, every every uh, methodology uh, which, uh, which has been used to identify the solution. So, earlier we have talked about uh, uh, the rational model, but here it, it, it is the a group of people right they will be having this uh, the, uh, um, the full uh, uh, f uh, freeness for the whatever the, the ideas come in their mind uh, they will be in their brain they will be discussing about those ideas are there and uh, then we'll definitely those ideas will be evaluated and with all the criticism of others ideas. Uh, two underlying principles for this brainstorming is deferred judgment by which all ideas are encouraged without criticism and the quantity breeds the quality. So, therefore, in that case this is uh, important ultimately what is important is that, that you should be able to give the result the result is important and uh, this quantity uh, breeds the quality means unless and until you will not take the decisions, how you will decide the quality of decisions. So, decisions are to be taken uh, as soon as you get this opportunity to identify the problem and provide the solutions are there. In the brainstorming sessions normally those who are experienced one, they are giving the very right uh, solutions are there and we, we can take them into consideration. Then next method is the nominal group technique is there. So, uh, Delbeck, Van de Ven and uh, uh, Gustafsson in 1975 has uh, given about this particular uh, nominal group technique. A generic name for face to face group technique in which instructions are given to the group members to uh, not to interact with each other ex, uh, except at specific steps in the process is there. And what will be the process? Members brought together and presented the problem. Uh, each member develops solution ideas independently and writes them on cards. All present their ideas in a round robin procedure. So, therefore, in that case uh, this will be a very, very important aspect that is the how we are going for uh, this particular um, uh, members right. And uh, therefore, each member uh, whoever is given that particular idea uh, th th that will be discussed, uh, discuss, it will be discussion will be there. But this is by the, uh, it is not the uh, free will, uh, free will it, it is on the basis of that particular nominated group only and that is why it is called the uh, nominal group technique is there. So, um, a brief time is allotted to clarify ideas after the presentation by all group members individually rank their preferences for the best alternative by secret ballot and group decision is announced based on this particular ranking is there right. So, therefore, this group decision is becoming very, very uh, important issue whenever we are talking about uh, uh, the taking the decisions uh, um, by, by, by this particular group because it, it will be in the discussion on the basis of the, uh, the clarifying the ideas, right. So, therefore, each group will be having the ideas, uh, a common problem is given, they will make the presentations, the presentations will be violated and then the, the, this will be checked whether the solution is possible or not. Delphi is a place where the ancient Greeks used to pray for the information about the future. In this technique, members selected are experts and scattered over the large distances having no face to face interaction for decision making. While in the earlier uh, technique we have seen it was a face to face discussion was there. The effectiveness of the technique depends on the adequate time, participants expertise communication skills and motivation of the members is there. So, therefore, this uh, particular Delphi technique uh, it will be useful only when there is the adequate time is there. So, the, those who are the experts uh, uh, they are having sufficient time to look into the problem, discuss the problem and provide the solution. Participants expertise are there, those who will be looking for this particular uh, um, problem and uh, issues and then they will be able to see from the, uh, from the perspective of their own uh, field and uh, accordingly they will communicate and motivate to the members. Uh, in the in Delphi technique process, how to do that? The problem is identified in a set of questions, a questionnaire are built relating to the problem. Experts in the problem are identified and contacted to whom the questionnaire is sent. They anonymously and independently answer the questions and sends it back to the cent, uh, central coordinator is there. And therefore, in that case this is a very, uh, very, very comfortable technique is there. And therefore, experts are uh, that is the, the questionnaire will be sent right. And on the basis of the questionnaire they will be responding and they whatever these, uh, but it is anonymous right and independent. So, therefore, nobody knows. 
that who has given the uh, what uh, sol uh, solution or uh, what is in, in the minds of the others are there. Because many times the decisions are negative and therefore it should not be uh, having this particular idea that who has given this particular solution. So therefore it will be anonymously discussed. These responses are compiled and analyzed and on their basis a second questionnaire is developed on the basis of the first second question I will be developed, which is mailed back to the participating members to comment, suggest and answer the questions possibly generating new ideas are there. So, there will be the certain questions and answers that is related to the new ideas to be generated and uh, here uh, those who are already uh, who, who are the part of uh, this particular process. You know, so, they will not be uh, 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 getting the any comment or suggestion unless and until uh, that uh, it is becoming very relevant is there. So, uh, because these uh, these responses are new right and therefore, new ideas will come and the second question I are compiled and analyzed and so on the basis of the first idea first brainstorming session you can say the pilot study. Now, we are having the second question I are and this is more structured. So, consensus has not been reached then the third question I is developed by uh, the pinpointing the issues and resolve the areas of concern. So, because the uh, it was not connected like earlier. So, here what will be that, that third question IR will be developed uh, where the all the issues raised by the first and second uh, respondents uh, and, and the experts that will be accumulated. The above process is repeated until a consensus is obtained and then the final decision is taken and therefore, this process of collecting the data. Uh, sending the question I are taking the responses and uh, identifying their views. So, unless and until uh, we do not have the consensus, then definitely there will, there will be no final decision will be taken. But yes, if we develop the consensus, then there will be the final decision will be taken. So, this is the question I are analysis and the reform is there uh, of uh, the questions, reform of the questions will be done and done by the, uh, the team members. Leader central decision making model is there. Uh, so, th this is a very common practice. The leader exercises his or her whole power to initiate, direct, drive, instruct and control team members is there. So, therefore, in that case what happens that is he identifies any problem in the society or in the organization and then he initiates, then he directs uh, and that a particular uh, that, uh, instructions will be given uh, to the control team members are there. So, uh, what leader should do? that he should focus on the task, ignore personal feelings and relationships and you know, no biasness, seek opinions of all, get agreement uh, so that the work can be done, make, make final decisions that is uh, when they will start the work and end the work, stay in control. Uh, so, therefore, in that case there will be no deviations, job disruptions uh, as we are into the control, so no disruptions will be there. Discourage members from expressing their feelings, keep it rational and the guard against threats to his or her authority is there. So, therefore, in that case every member is having certain authority, hmm? he is the master is the master of his solution and whenever he is going for this master of his solution, uh, then definitely he will be looking for the uh, uh, that there should not be any threat. So, that his authority should be intact. So, maybe that is his opinion, his structure, his design may be um, uh, the profitable or may not be profitable, but ultimately it is uh, very important that is uh, we, we do not uh, have the threat for that particular guard and therefore, if we are having the full authority for that um, is used by that particular person is there. Now, in, in this case the, the, dip, uh, the difference between the brainstorming and other sessions is that is the leader. Leader is a purely made initiate, direct, drive, instruct and the control. So, the team members are there. So, therefore, in that case uh, the leader exercises that is his power and whenever he is exercising his power, so he will give the direction also to the uh, solutions to the problems. That was a team based, uh, leader based. Now, we will talk about the team centered decision making model is there. So, empowers team members to make decisions and follow through to be successful and team leaders should listen uh, uh, very attentively. Whatever the leader is saying or the team members are saying uh, that the team members should have the clarity, you know, the clarity of thought is important and that is why they will be listened alternatively. Watch for the non-verbal cues. Now, this is very important that is this is not only for the verbal cues are there. So, whatever has been said, but the body movement, 
right uh, the uh, the hand uh, hand movements right leg movements so therefore in that case that is a non verbal cues that has to be also uh, captured and judged uh, be aware of members there is a feelings needs interaction and conflict is there so therefore uh, it, it will be very common that they will be having the feelings they will be having certain needs uh, and naturally they will require certain interactions and uh, they, whenever there will be interaction there will be the conflict is there not teams uh, member serves as a consultant, advisor, teacher and facilitators are all are forming the team is there. Model appropriate leadership behavior will be there and the relinquish control to the team is there. So, allow the team to make the final decisions is there. So, earlier it was the leader who was making this decision about a particular problem and providing the solution. Here it is a team centered decision is there where the leader is taking this particular decision and on the basis of this uh, team uh, centered decision uh, the team members are are very very uh, uh, active and uh, cooperative and as a result of which uh, the all team members they are allowing each other to take the final decision is there uh, here because the all stakeholders have been considered so there will be the always chances uh, that is your decision will be better and uh, uh, helpful for the taking out the solution the next is the creative decision making process is there. So, problem identification, recognition, immersion, incubation, uh, illumination and verification and application. So, these are the 5 steps will be there. So, creativity is the generation of imaginative ideas with the flattening of the organizations and intense competition among organizations. Individuals and organizations are driven to the uh, creative in decisions ranging from the cutting the cost. Right? So, this is the most uh, important aspect that is uh, they start with the cutting the cost is there so that there can be the ROI satisfactory ROI and uh, uh, creating the new ways of the doing the business. Uh, please note that while creativity is the first step in the innovation uh, process, creativity and innovations are not the same thing. So, innovation begin with the creative ideas, but it also involves realistic planning and a follow through is there. So, therefore, on the basis of this, this is not the totally very imaginative rather than this is practical and that is the step one will be problem recognition, immersion will be there, incubation will be done, uh, illumination will be done and verification and application will be done. So, all these 5 steps which is required to be judged. So, these 5 steps that, that, that will be decided um, by, by the, uh, this all uh, the group members, team members, those who are going for this particular uh, type of the decisions are there. So, creativity that has to be encouraged because ultimately nowadays the buzz mantra is that is the do the business differently, do the same business but differently and now indifferently that creativity is required. The simple example may be use of technology. So, when you are using the technology then you are using the, uh, uh, the something new and that will be helpful for the performing. But in the case whenever there is not a, a proper uh, uh, conception of the ideas right that is called the incubation then definitely this method will be a threat. Next is the creative decision making process problem identification which is a step in which the need to be problem solving uh, becomes apparent. If you do not recognize that you have a problem it is impossible to solve it. So, acceptance, acceptance that I am having certain problem and uh, th that is very, very important is there. Immersion is a step in which the decision maker thinks about the problem consciously and gathers information. A key to success in creative decision making is having or acquiring the expertise in the area being studied. This is a big challenge is there. So, immersion is required where the all decision makers they are having that particular big academic background. So, therefore, that academic background of knowledge of that body of knowledge that will help the the team members uh, to take a take a decision and then incubation process occurs during incubation the individuals uh, sets the problem aside and does not think about it for a while is there. So, there in the incubation in incubation right so that you are allow you are allowing allowing the concept to uh, that particular uh, grow and then you will find out this solution. So, this comes illuminations are the inside movements when the solution to the problem becomes uh, apparent to the person. So, the usually when it is the test expected is there. So, therefore, that is an illumination only that is not the reality. 
Finally, the verification and application uh, stages are happens when the decision maker consciously verifies the feasibility of the solution and implements the decision is there. So, that feasibility of the solution will be possible only when that is the, the this particular decision maker right he is consciously consciously uh, verifying uh, the feasibility because uh, in all these steps you will see right from the problem identification to the verification application it is very important that is the conditions in which you are working th that has to be very strong a bounded rationality model is there the bounded rationality model of decision making recognizes the limitations of our decision making uh, processes according to this model individuals knowingly limit their uh, options to a manageable set right so therefore they are saying that is if there are 10 options are there they will like to work in the seven set and choose the best alternative without conducting an exhaustive search for alternatives is there a very interesting model and therefore limitations of this decision making process is this that is the it, it, it is the best alternative which is available uh, uh, and uh, uh, important part of this bounded rationality approach is the tendency to satisfies which refers to the accepting the first alternative that meets you minimum criteria and therefore in that case in the bo both ways right that is in spite of that what is your um, uh, source is there right irrespective of that it, it, is, it is the selection of the solution that will be having the satisfying the, uh, the alternatives that has been uh, selected. An example is given here, uh, many college graduates do not conduct a national or international search for potential job openings hmm? and instead they focus their search on a limited geographic area and tend to accept the first offer in their chosen area even if it may not be the ideal job situation is there. So, this, this, this is, the, this is the, the reality which is happening and therefore, in that case that is the uh, any, any institute which is not having these uh, the perfect seats. So, what, what it does that is it is takes the first offer uh, in their chosen area is there. So, whatever the first of, of offer is there and then on basis of that first offer uh, that uh, uh, it, it, the, the selection has been done even though it may not be the ideal job situation is there. So, uh, many organizations because they, they have to take that particular decision and they go for the particular decision that is the bounded decision is there. Now, intuitive decision making is there. So, making the decisions on the basis of the experience, feelings and accumulated judgment. The intuitive decision making model has emerged as an important decision making model. It refers to arriving at decisions without conscious reasoning is there. So, uh, uh, managers make the uh, decisions based on the their ethical values or culture, managers make decisions based on their past experiences, managers make decisions based on feelings and emotions and uh, makes a decision based on skills, knowledge and uh, training is there. Managers use data from the subconscious mind on, uh, to help them make the decisions right. So, therefore, in that case whenever managers are supporting their team members to take the decisions it is based on their intuition it is not based on the rationality or the logical is there it is it is it, it depends on the individuals what are the value systems are there how they are the um, the mind is affected by these their their, uh, their man, managers uh, feelings or emotions are there managers uh, that whatever the skill knowledge and ability they are having that is a cognitive based decisions are there so knowledge attitude skills the so they they are, they are playing the very very important role in taking the decisions are there they are data from the uh, uh, the subconscious mind and therefore subconscious mind a pattern that has been also used and experience the best decisions are there so naturally um, whoever is leader he will like to take the decision on the basis of his experiences there so it it is becoming very very important that is all decision making models that will be applicable that will work through the intuition is there. So, uh, decision making models uh, uh, we what we have talked about that is about the rational, bounded rationality, intuitive and creative is there. Information or alternatives that can gathered and quantified the decision is important. Uh, you are trying to maximize your outcome is there. The minimum criteria are clear you do not have on you are not willing to invest much time to making the decisions. So, boundary rationality in this uh, here then you use this particular model. 
goals are uh, if clear there is time pressure and analysis paralysis should be costly. So, you have experience with the problem. So, go for the intuitive and whenever solutions to the problem are not clear, new solutions need to be generated. You have time to immerse out in the issues are there. Now, what will be the errors and biases? So, heuristic using rules of thumb to simplify decision making, overconfidence biases, unrealistically positive views of oneself and one's performance, immediate gratification bias, uh, anchoring affect is there and selective persistence will be there. And therefore, choosing the alternatives that offer immediate bias rewards and threat to the avoid, uh, 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 threat to the cost that is to be avoided uh, in the case of this decision making biasness is there. Now, there are the framing biasness is there, certain aspects of situation will ignore the other aspects, uh, availability bias is there, that is uh, losing the decision making objectives by focusing on the most recent events, uh, re, uh, representation biasness is there, that is a uh, drawing analogies and seeing identical situations. Right, and then therefore, on the basis of that, we take the decision. Sunk cost error is there, current actions they cannot influence past events and they lead not only to the future consequences. So, therefore, that will be the uh, sunk cost errors. Self servicing bias will be that is, us taking quick credit for success and blaming outside factors for failures. Uh, Hindsight bias is that an event could have been predicted once the actual outcome is known. So, uh, here when, uh, whenever we are going by this particular uh, biasness, so finally, we are taking this uh, uh, the overview of team decision making is there, uh, rationality, boundary rationality and intuition is there, right. Then we are taking about the decision making uh, uh, types of problems and decisions, well structured and unstructured are there, decision making conditions are the certainty, risk and uh, uncertainty is there, in which is a situation you are taking the decision. Then the decision maker style is the linear thinking style or the non-linear thinking style. So, it will be totally depend on the decision maker. Decision best alternative is maximizing, satisfying, implementing or the evaluating is there. Now, whenever we are talking about the conflict, so conflict occurs when opposing parties have interest or goals that appear to be the incompatible, right? And therefore, in that case, conflict can occur within a group or team members. So, we have to classify that is what type of these uh, you are having the conflict, uh, strong degree or the high levels competing for scarce resources under high levels of stress or the face of uncertainty is there. So, conflict can also occur when leaders act in a manner inconsistent with the vision and goals they have articulated in the organizations is there. Here we will talk about the low level and high level of group performance. So, so therefore, in that case it is, it is the level of conflict which, which a group level of performance is low, it is low, it is going high, then it is going low. So, therefore, in that case conflict and performance will be decided on the basis of like this curve that is at what stage is the level of conflict is there and which type of the conflict it will be called. So, in the uh, uh, suppose in the team building if conflict arises, so type of conflict, situational consideration, personal preferences, conflict management, collaborative problem solving and the dispute resolutions will be there. Uh, what is important is you should be able to diagnose the conflicts and the people focused and the issue focused are there, conflict source and conflict focus is there, personal differences, what are the sources, informational deficiency, role incompatibility or the, the it may be related to the perception and expectations, manifestation and misrepresentation, goals and responsibilities. So, that can be the diagnosing the conflicts may be there. So, it will be the avoiding right uh, uh, if it is uncooperative is low uh, assertiveness is low avoiding is there or it can be the competing and uh, compromising collaborating and the accommodating is there depending on the assertiveness and the cooperativeness is there is there so this will be the collective collaborative problem solving um, and uh, on basis of this uh, we will be able to resolve the conflicts is there so uh, this is a case study as usual which we discussed uh, and uh, please solve the questions given at the end of the case study and this is a research paper improving the team decision making performance with the collaborative modeling is there and uh, this uh, is a design methodology approach and findings about this particular research paper and finally, this is the book moving out of the box which you can refer for tools for the team decision making is there and there are different models which have been suggested. You can take the basis on this particular uh, readings, uh, you can try to find out that how you can take the decisions. 
these are the references for your further studies thank you